Well, we were talking about the necessity of political parties. And we also spoke at length about panchayat elections. But what is a representative democracy? We cannot have it until we do not have political parties. Because representative democracy indicates representation. There are people who are going to represent our opinions and our aspirations. So unless we do not categorize them and we name them as political parties, we cannot have a true representative democracy. And in today's world, all democracies are representative in nature. So, it is very, very essential that all representative democracies have political parties. You will be surprised to know that 100 years back, there were hardly any countries in the world which had political parties. And now, after 100 years, there are hardly any countries in the world which do not have political parties. And thanks to representative democracy, because political parties become an essential key feature to the successful running of a representative democracy. Well, this is about the necessity, the requirement of, demo, of political parties. But think of it, how many political parties should we have? That's a question which comes to the mind of all of us. Now, there are three types of such setups that we have. The first one is monoparty system, the one party system. And this system is there in China, wherein they have communist party. That is, all the candidates belong to the communist party of China. So that means everybody has similar ideologies. Is this democracy, children? When I am forced to actually adopt and I am forced to contest election on that ideology and forced to give vote to that ideology because I have no option. Is this democracy? Well, I do not agree to it. It simply means that it is in fact the loosening of dictatorship. Right? You just feel that you are contesting election, you are voting, you are undergoing the process of election. But in fact, there is just one ideology floating, which means people are forced, candidates are vote are forced and the government is forced to act according to the ideology of the communist party of China. Not a democracy at all. Well, by party system. By party system means that actually we have two big parties in the country. And the finest example are United Kingdom and United States of America. There are smaller parties also, but there is hardly any possibility of their winning the election and forming the government. So in fact, it is what? It is a bi-party system. Now here, still the choice is wider. There are two set of ideologies, there are two set of candidates, there are two policies and programs and you actually contest election and vote for the candidates in that particular segment. Well, it looks like a democracy. And by party system, some people feel in the world is the best type of system that you can have for a democratic setup. Well, next is the multi-party system. India is the finest example of a multi-party system. Children, we just do not have multi-party. We have multilingual, multicultural, we have multi-region, we have everything multi. That is many. And there are 750 political parties which are registered and many which are unregistered. Fine. So this means that multi-party system is running successfully in India.